We're here today at Red Lodge, which is a woodland just outside Swindon. Um, it's a lovely oak woodland, 1820 plantation. It was planted for, for shipbuilding timber probably originally. Um, and we're here with the Sutton Hill Ships Company to fell this lovely old oak uh, to form the keel of their, of their ship. So this is a really, really prime example of, a, of an oak, oak tree for timber. Um, it's, it's nice and straight, it's clear, there's no side branches, it's a nice central crown. Um, so it's really an exceptional tree um, uh, and we're here to, yeah, here to cut it down and make the best of it. We've looked in a, a, a wide range of places and we put in touch with you and came to see this tree here, which is amazing. It's a lovely straight grain and it's um, very long, it's 10 metres to the base of the canopy, so that gives us half of the length of the ship. Here. And when we were here, quite miraculously, we just turned around and there was that tree there. Right. Now, Brilliant. <laughs> that, the, the natural curves in that tree um, give us the curves at the bottom of the stern and the stem of the ship. So when we scarf the two pe three pieces together, um, we get nice grain following the shape of the ship and we get the full length that we want. So these two trees together, So the first tree's down now, um, but we don't just want to take the trunk, we want to use as much of the tree as possible. So we've brought some patterns with us, and this is a pattern for a thole. The thole is uh, actually the power point where we rest the oar on, and the oar pulls against it. Uh, so this we will use from the trunk and where a branch comes out. At that point, the wood grain goes both ways, so it makes it really secure. So here's the pattern and here's a potential piece of timber and if we lay the pattern onto it we can see that it fits pretty well the shape that we want and so we'll take this back to the long shed in Woodbridge and we'll try to make a thole from it. In the context of the woodland what you're doing by, by removing trees is you're thinning trees. Right. You're, you're creating space for the remaining trees to grow. You're creating an opening for woodland flora and for, for the next generation of trees to come up through. So although we're losing two very nice old oaks, um, we're, we're gaining a lot in terms of, of ecology and the environment at the same time. <laughs> 